Welcome to Bax Bug Out Survivor. I'm Bax, and today I'm bringing you a few things. Um, it's mostly the H2O pouch, and I filled it so it becomes um, an all in one cook system. And part of that will be an Algene bottle and um, a GSI Glacier cup. Hopefully, we should be able to do some cooking in it as well okay we're not far off setting up a camp but it's just begun to start raining and in one of the pockets of my 35 litre MCP I should have a poncho to put on it's a good hike in so we're looking at probably a few miles round trip uh, so my favorite walk So the woolly jumper has come off and I put the poncho on. It's just started to rain, but um, I know where there's a couple of trees back here where I can transform the poncho into a head basher, sling the hammock up and get this brew on the go. I've chosen to go with a thermos flask cup and I've cut the handle off just so it fits in a little easier. We'll all recognise the wide mouth Nalgene bottle and I've just about got enough water left to get a brew on. This one's by Gallet. And also in the bottom of here is my stainless steel GSI Glacier and I'm going to make a fist inside the cup, expand my fist and twist my cup out. Just like that. So this is the GSI stainless steel 500mm or maybe just there over with folding butterfly handles. I'm going to get the brew on this straight away. Um, back to the pack. You'll notice in the mag pouches on my resources I have a uh, drinks hot drinks there's a good two days supply there and I hope you've seen the episode where we made a cat wicking stove that's the whole stove unit there including simmering the snuffer the stove itself brilliant uh, you've got to make yourself one of these here's my fuel I don't know how many mil that is, but it's certainly enough to get this brew on the go for now and a little measuring cap. There's a front pouch. Now this comes with the H2O. It's not mollied on at all. Um, little homemade lid. I'll show you how to make these really easy on another episode. This is for the GSI Glacier. A folding windshield which I'm going to set up right now additional items is a specimen container full of my own urine ready to drink in an emergency no it's not I don't know why I'm telling you that. it's full of washing up liquid and a little scrubby pad spork and a couple of lighters all that was from that front pocket. And I also have added a D-beaner to take an additional Nalgene bottle.
pop up a hammock behind you and uh, have a sit down and as it's just started to rain I'm going to need to put up a poncho as some kind of shelter around me it's all damp there's no danger of setting the forest on fire here but just to be safe While that's cooking, up goes the hammock and the shelter. Keep your eye on that for me. almost coming to a boil and uh, I hope I've brought some something sweet it's a mug shop and a sink both of these will be added to the boiling water this is about 250 ml along with some soup that in haven't bought salt and pepper, it's a shame. Pot. I need to dig out that simmering again in the brew kit. Just put that out using the snuffer part of the homemade stove. I'm going to introduce a simmering refuel just a little bit and then get this just ticking over don't need a lot this takes barely milliliters i reckon between 15 20 mil will do uh, 250 mil Bring it to a boil and with me I'll have the ability to simmer this. I'm going to have to get the shelter up as well. It's really starting to come down now. I'm using a wooden handle, it shouldn't conduct the heat as much as um, a metal one. Always keep putting things back. From the same place they come from in your kit. And I shouldn't have much call to lose anything at all. First bite to eat of the day. And it's thickened up a treat. Mm. Mm. Let's have a look inside there. That's gorgeous hot pasta. You can see the steam. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
let's have a look. I'm just gonna put a lid back on this just for a minute while we one more spoonful. Mm. So first part of the sat is the glacier. It's the GSI glacier. Um <clears throat> got it a while ago. Can't remember how much paid for it, but I'm gonna find out and put the price just here. It's 500 mil or just over. Again, the caption there of its volume. Homemade lid. The hawk is out. I don't know if you can hear him. The actual um, H2O pack itself minus the ammo pouches on each side. Now the SA-80s Mark IV work great on this but I've got them on my Crusader uh, GSR field bag at the moment. Actually I'll just flash you a quick picture of that up and there it is with the SA-80 uh, mag pouches Mark IV. Two of them, one each side. Same kind of deal with this. So I'm sure Miltec will do one, I'm sure um, Recon 1 will do one, Military First will probably do one, I think that's where I got mine, Military First, a great little company, and um, probably Combat UK is going to be a good catalogue to get quality kit. This isn't going to break down in a hurry, you know, it, this is going to keep its quality. Um, each of, now at the front here, are molly webbings all the way down. So you could actually um, put even another pouch onto the front of that. Again, I'm going to quickly put the price and where to get this from here. So price is, and this one I got from Um, I should have really done some paperwork and of course a little keychain that I've hung off the D-rings that already come with this and I've had to source a shoulder strap for it as well. Uh, it consists of illumination, um, the worst knife in the world have better and a little matchbox the permanent match that's called so I'm gonna go under now I haven't actually strung the corners of the poncho out this is adequate just to keep the rain off but I'm going under and finishing off my lunch I haven't got this woodland into myself, so I'm about only 20 metres from the main path and there's kids playing around, there's people walking the dogs, it's a beautiful location and it's not even a really nice day, but um, any day is a nice day to get a chance to bring out the GSI Glacier, the H2 OPAC with Nalgene and side accessory pouches and uh, like I said this tucker is going down a treat 500ml will make you a snack such as a rice and a little meat or a pasta uh, something like that uh, this is more trail food which would go in here if I wanted to cook a more substantial meal of course I would probably use something like the Crusader uh, Mark 1, which is I think 700ml full and the Crusader Mark 2, which will cook a litre, which is a lot. But for trail food and drinks, hot on the move, uh, this is brilliant. Mate, I'm just going to transport this back inside here, but 
first I've got to do some washing up and tend to some ablutions. Yes, um. <coughs> Sorry about the racket. That's <laughs> alright, mate. I'm off myself here. So I'm almost out of the woods. And I've really enjoyed that system. And I've been using it say a few months now and there's nothing quite like it if you want to stick with your crusader system I fully understand that I get that but for me it's the bulk of it because the pouch it, it comes with and the volume of it doesn't allow access for a proper stove to stove fuel and some of the bits and the elements that you've seen me transport in that guy there it's a beautiful place to hang out up here uh, got to do it on the lens there and you know people have got the dogs and they're walking up the path here and there's a guy he's teaching his son how to hunt uh, there's someone in the field further down with a 410 shotgun and that's right on the boundary of this National Trust woodland here so until pretty soon there's some great episodes coming up take care of yourself all right i'll see you out there oh, oh i could do about losing my grip here it's a long way from the ground see if i find a decent handhold